Bondurant has been growing rapidly. The most recent statistics show a growth rate of about 106%, and with this rapid population growth, there becomes a massive expansion of housing in the area. But because these houses needed to be built quickly, they are falling apart nearly as fast. Dylan Lampman has decided he's had enough of the suburb blight art and is ready to move out on his own. All of these houses suck. The driveway is separating from itself and lifting in spots. The toilets have all broken. The upstairs shower is leaking into the downstairs bathroom. I just can't deal with it anymore. His house was only built in 2008, but only 10 years later, it's already falling apart. The first place he showed me was the back deck where his uncle fell through. He's a heavy man, but the back support should be able to support him. It didn't used to have railings on either side. Those disappeared when I went, when I was in college the first time. And then I think over here the wood was just rotting. And there are even bigger issues inside the house. Well, and this is when my aunt was living with us. She uh, was walking by because she was living in the basement. Walked into the wall at regular walking speed and just need a hole. Uh, there's a crack in the gas line that's happened sometime between 2008 and 2010, within two years of the house being built. So they had to disconnect it so that way we didn't accidentally turn it on and blow it up. Besides the ever-filling toilet and the cardboard and the door frame, the suburbs just aren't made for Dylan. It's somehow always so loud even though there's nothing nearby. They have to drive 10 minutes to go to the grocery store. This week, Dylan is moving into a small trailer to get away from all the noise and construction of his parents' suburb. Luckily for him, it also just happens to be only five minutes away from a grocery store. 